myself sandeep javeri assistant professor from department of civil engineering uh, in today's session we are going to discuss about structure health monitoring system which is a part of course that is repairs and rehabilitation of structures for the final year btech civil students learning outcome the at the end of this session students will be able to describe the different methods of structural health monitoring system shm methods that is structural health monitoring methods it involves utilizing various techniques and methods to assess and monitor the condition of structures over time now these methods helps in detecting potential damages flaws or changes in structural properties here are some common methods which are used in structural health monitoring that will be seen in the next slide so there are some common methods used in structural health monitoring system which we are seeing now visual inspection so whenever we go to the site we observe what are the defects in the structure like corrosion cracks or spalling of concrete so direct observation by inspectors or using cameras to visually assess the condition of structures looking for cracks deformations or other signs of damage like corrosion or spalling of concrete etc vibration based monitoring now it induced the by, by external forces or ambient conditions using accelerometers seismometers or other vibration sensors other vibration sensors it changes so changes in vibration patterns can indicate structural damage or deterioration so when you consider uh, the graph or the pattern and there is a change which indicates this there is a some structural damage or deterioration in the on the surface of the structure acoustic emission monitoring detecting transient stress waves or acoustic emissions caused by the growth of defects or damage within a structure acoustic emission sensors are placed on the structure to capture these signals ultrasonic testing using ultrasonic views to detect internal defects or flaws within materials ultrasonic sensors emit high frequency sound waves into the material and analyze the reflected waves to identify defects so this testing is very important which is used for the important structures such as nuclear power plants thermal plants the foundation of that uh, typical structures etc in case of bridges this test is also useful to get internal defects of structural elements like foundations columns pile cap etc electrical resistance or impedance monitoring measuring changes in electrical resistance or impedance of structural materials which can indicate changes in the material properties due to damage or deterioration so whenever you want to find the crack in a particular structure so you will found there is a electrical resistance offered by the particular system or arrangement which is done on the site that indicates the change in the material properties due to cracks or spalling of structure or spalling of concrete etc fiber optic sensors embedding or attaching fiber optic sensors to structures 
to monitor strain, temperature or other parameters. Fiber optic sensors offer advantages such as high sensitivity and resistance to electromagnetic interference. So this is one of the important sensors which are used for monitoring not only strain or deformations but also knowing the thermal effect of a particular structure during winter or summer or any uh, season. Strain gauge monitoring. Installing strain gauges on structures to measure strain or deformation under various loading conditions. Changes in strain patterns can indicate structural damage or fatigue. One of the most common SHM sensors in use today is the foil strain gauge. Now this is a particular uh, a typical sketch of the sensors which shown here for the structure which is subjected to tension or compression. So because of tension what will happen the uh, thickness of the strain gauges is going to be reduced and because of the compressive nature that force induced in the member the strain gauge become having a thickness become a very thick as compared to the member which is subjected to tension. So such uh, things are happen on the site. So we should know what changes are happen in the strain gauges. Infrared thermography. Using infrared cameras to detect variations in surface temperature which can indicate areas of moisture infiltration, delamination or other defects. Now ground penetrating radar, this is also called GPR. Utilizing radar pulses to image the subsurface of structures, identifying voids, cracks or other anomalies within the material. So in GPR, what are the hidden things are there below the ground, suppose there is a pipe is there or any concrete structure is there, say foundation is there. So using GPR, we can identify what are the defects, crack defects, voids in the concrete, corrosion, we can detect the bar location, etc. So this is very important method, but it is a costly as the equipment cost is more than 20 lakhs. Wireless sensor network. Deploying a network of wireless sensors throughout a structure to continuously monitor various parameters such as strain, temperature, humidity and vibration. WSNs enable real-time data collection and analysis. So you can see this is a typical bridge and the buildings shown here and uh, you can see uh, the information regarding the temperature, strain and humidity we can get without using wire in a sensor. So these sensors are wireless. So this is also helpful for getting the real time data and for further analysis of the structure. Then machine learning and data analytics. This is also advanced technique we are going to use in uh, including uh, machine learning algorithms to analyze sensor data and detect patterns indicative of structural damage or degradation. Finite element analysis employing numerical modeling techniques such as finite element analysis to stimulate structural behavior under different loading conditions and predict potential failure modes. So this is one of the uh, important aspect while uh, establishing the SHM methods of a particular structure. In summary, these methods that is SHM methods can be used 
individually or in combination to provide a comprehensive assessment of structural health and enable timely maintenance or repair interventions to ensure the safety and longevity of infrastructure assets. Now these are the review questions. The first question, following method is not used in structural health monitoring system. The options are ultrasonic testing, ground penetration or ground penetrating radar that is GPR, infrared thermography, then exploration using detonators. The second question, the method dash is the method where human interaction is not is more used in structural health monitoring system. The options are visual inspection, video gauge interaction, GPR, strain gauges. Now the answers are, for the first question the answer is exploration using detonators. So it is not used in structural health monitoring system that is SHM method. Then second ans question answer is visual inspection as uh, there is a more human interaction is uh, possible. So a is the correct answer. These are the references that uh, we are using for uh, creation of this video. These are the references that we have used for creation of this video. Thank you.